Hey guys, it's me, Drew. And I'm Hannah. And we are gonna be filming a collab today. So I thought, since Hannah lives right above me and she likes fashion as well, and she has a really great Instagram, which you guys should definitely check out. I'll put it on the screen, you know, the self promo. Well, what can more I say? like Hannah promo. Anyway, Hannah um, we're gonna be hashtag doing Hannah promo. Han hashtag Hannah promo. We're gonna be doing a fall slash autumn inspired essentials video, and then we're gonna do some styling of the eight outfits. So I think we should just get started. Let's do it. So the first of my four essentials is a trench coat, and I actually got this one at Forever 21. You guys may have seen it. I hauled it a few months back, but it's a woman's coat. I decided to style this piece with a pair of blue jeans, and they just have rips in the knees, and then I decided to also wear just a pair of trainers just because I felt like they sort of added a sporty vibe to the almost dapper trench coat. And then lastly, I paired it with a white t-shirt just to add my minimal touch to this outfit. My first of my fall essentials is a leopard print fur coat that I got at the end of last season. And considering we live in Southern California, it probably wasn't the smartest investment ever. However, I'm kind of obsessed with it and I really don't care. I paired it with a leather mini skirt and a neutral sweater just to kind of give it a downtown chic, kind of a really cool edgy vibe. Um, I put it with these um, Chelsea boots just to kind of round out the look. So my second piece is a graphic or statement sweater. I used this one from Acme Studios. It's definitely one of my favorite sweaters in my sweater collection. And it's actually right outside the window, right over there. We can see it from here. Great uh, view of the Eastern Columbia Building. Definitely. It, essentially, the Acme Studios is at the bottom of the Eastern Columbia Building, which is why I decided to pick up the sweater since I live in Los Angeles. But I just paired it with a white button-up to give a little bit of a fresh take on the underside of this very warm jacket or sweater. And then I paired it also with a pair of black denim and I finished it off with a pair of boots. So my second piece is a simple sweater. Um, it's one of those things where you can just throw on and not really have to think much about. I've paired it with a black pleated skirt, which gives it a really easy day to night vibe. You can pair it with sneakers, you can pair it with heels, and it can transition really easily while still being super chic. I think simple sweaters are definitely my favorite type of sweater. Absolutely. They just go with everything. everything. Layer up or layer them down for fall. Exactly. My third essential is a scarf. And I feel like last season scarves weren't as in as they are going to be this upcoming season. And I just chose a snood style scarf, which is essentially a circle scarf. This one is from H&M and it's in a really nice plum purple color. So I paired the scarf with a pair of navy pleated trousers which are from Zara and then I finished it off with just a simple long black tee and I just wanted to create a more casual look with the black tee since I did have the scarf which is a preppy vibe and then I had the pleated trousers which were also a preppy vibe. I just paired it down with a black t-shirt. And then the best part about fall is if you're never sure about what color palette to gravitate towards, jewel tones always work. Definitely. And going off of Drew's preppy vibe, I have decided to include these plaid trousers from Zara. I got these last season, but I feel like they can just transcend any fall season because I think they're plaid's just really such classic. Plaid's so fall too. So. It's so fall. And like this deeper like green also kind of goes with the jewel tones. And I paired it with like a loose sweater. So you can really take this anywhere. You can wear it to work, you can wear it out, just changing up your accessories. It's one of those pieces that will never go wrong. And if you're tired of jeans, just get a bold trouser and you're you're done. Perfect. There you go. So you all know my recent love for Chelsea boots and I found the most amazing pair at H&M a few weeks back. And H &M. I'll yeah, I'll link them below. They're only $50 and they're perfect. They just fit so perfectly. So I decided to pair the Chelsea boots with a motorcycle jogger, which was a little bit of a juxtaposition, but I like the casual with the chic look. And then I paired it with the statement sweater, just in a basic gray. And lastly, one of my favorite jackets I've ever purchased from Zara, and it is a leather wool body contrast. And the back of it has this really nice knit. And I think it's the most perfect fall jacket, and I feel like it's definitely gonna be in, and it's in a really nice olive color, so you can't go wrong with that for fall. My last fall essential is, like Drew's, a pair of shoes. So when I style my outfits, I like to start at my shoes, because since we live in downtown, we're constantly walking. 
And I've recently just fallen head over heels with my Stan Smiths. Um, I kind of had to jump on the bandwagon, and I'm so happy I did. I wear them almost all of the time. Yeah, I always see you in them, but I, I love the way that they look. So I paired them with a super easy pair of jeans, just a t-shirt and a cool coat. Just one of those, like, need to run to Starbucks. Yeah, to and I love your store. coat that you chose. It's oh, like one of my favorite this. jackets. I got this at H&M. It's amazing. And you would never be able to tell. I think the outfit's just super, like, sporty. It's like sporty athleisure. Luxe. Athleisure. It's just easy, throw it on, no, no brainer. You just put on jeans and a cool pair of sneakers. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I've never done a sit down collab, so Hannah, you're my first sit down collab. Oh, thank you. Feel I'm so special. honored. I'm so <laughs> honored. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to check out Hannah's Instagram and her blog. I'll link them both below for you guys to look at. And then thank you guys again. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of video and subscribe for more. Thank you guys. Bye guys. Have thank a great you. day. Bye. Found you in circles, places I know. You.